What are you looking at, old man? There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. Makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. Are you gonna man up, kid? Follow me. Why you gotta act so biggity all the damn time? What happened to you? What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. Yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart from bending your elbow. I can't do right for doing wrong. You're an ungrateful bastard, you know. I did my best when you was gone. Your best is like anybody else's worst. Come on. I'm getting old. I gotta start taking things easy. You've been taking things easy for 40 years. Get up. Look, there they are.
I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ranch. about any of this. I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was... Let's go! Make sure there's enough fresh hay. We need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Not a bad day's work. Tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. I guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Whoa. Treat me like a kid. It's what fathers do. I'm just trying to look out for you. You can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. Come. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, well, I worry you're not coming back. I swear, if it was down to me, I'd never have gone anywhere. They can't make you, can they? It's complicated, but it seems they can. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't understand. Just some things you start have to be finished. What was your father like? I didn't really know him. He died when I was just a boy. Jack, he's found a scent. Come on, we can't stop now. Don't fall behind. You can't be tired already. Mom, is uncle really your uncle? No, at least I sincerely hope not. He's probably lots of people's father though. Well, why do you call him uncle then? Folks always did. Probably because he's always been older than everybody else. He was old when I was a kid. 
He was old when I was a kid, son. God must have had some purpose for keeping him on this earth. But I sure as hell don't know what that is. That's it, boy. Yeah. Them, Rufus. Slow. Go get him, boy. Go get him, boy. Jack, they're up ahead. If you don't mind. Just imagine it though. John and Jack Marshall. Looks one and men in the way. And what about your mom? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. And it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly. 
They're brutal. All right. Let's go. Come on. You're turned into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. John! John! What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tails of hunting got the better of him. He said he was going up the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. Kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynching. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. Go on, find Jack, boy. Come on. Hey, find Jack, Rufus. What is it, Rufus? Are we close? You can find him, boy. Jack, stay down! 
going off on your own. You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. Now hold tight. You all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. What'd I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. Well, I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a real man. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son, I ain't going anywhere. So believe me, neither are you for a real long time. Come! What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. Don't you ever run off on your own like that again. All right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. You know that. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. Come on. Come on. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm not a little kid anymore. What were you doing at my age? Bad thing. Things nobody should do. But your mom and me, we didn't have what you have. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should be grateful. I'm not asking you to be grateful. I'm asking you to do what I say before you get yourself killed. It's always one set of rules for you and another set for everybody else. I'm sorry I made you worry, Pa. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. When you're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir. I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. 
So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Pa. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside, you hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! Best get that gun ready, old... Come on! coming. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. No, I ain't gonna let that happen. John, I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and... <coughs> 
Don't worry about me. Just get him out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! We'll make a run for the barn! Stay close! Keep your eyes open! I see him! Get behind! Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs>
Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Damn that! 